Archbishop Silas Owiti has passed on. He was an archbishop that formed a church uh, during the struggle for independence. His wife is currently addressing the press, a very well-renowned uh, bishop who uh, was part of that struggle for independence. Silas Owiti uh, has passed on. Uh, let's listen in live from Kisumu. Yando, uh, Homer Bay, Nairobi, uh, Southern uh, and Siaya. And I also have family members all the way from Imbo, my parents where I was born. And I have my big family where I'm married, that is in Kano. I have members from Apondo Church who are here today and uh, Apondo Village. Uh, my husband comes from um, Apondo Chogo North sublocation, Kowiti Village, uh, today represented by Elder Adera Owing. And uh, I also have many different church members who have come to condole with us. I want to say that it is with much sadness to announce the demise of my dear beloved husband, Archbishop Dr. Silas Owiti, who has served the Lord in Voice of Salvation and Healing Church for over 60 years. Uh, it is until last year in June that the elders of the church made up their mind and decided to retire him officially. He was retired in June last year. And uh, I want to say that Silas Owiti, who is uh, the first well-known Pentecostal preacher, who can be called a Pentecostal general or hero, started preaching early in 1954, when young people were not preaching. He started preaching in his 20s when he was just newly married. He has worked with the Lord and by the grace of God has been able to open many ch churches in East Africa, could I say almost close, close to a thousand churches, with the help of these bishops who are here today. Uh, in the year 2011, after preaching the word of God in church on his way back home, Archbishop Silas Owiti was attacked by stroke. And uh, when he was rushed to the hospital, they said it was a uh, pressure of the brain. And uh, after that, he was attended in the Nairobi hospital and uh, they did all they could, lumbar puncture, and uh, they worked on him. And uh, by the grace of God, he was able to pump up again and was able to walk and was even able to minister. He did that for two years. His last sermon was in 2013. And that was his last sermon. And in 2014, in 2014, he could not preach anymore. But I want to say thank you to the church for their prayers. I want to say thank you for all the doctors who have attended to Archbishop. And I want to say thank you to the relatives and the family that has given me a lot of support during these uh, over five years that we have struggled by helping Archbishop Owiti to be alive. And so I say to the Lord, thank you for the years he gave us with Archbishop. Uh, he has lived in this world for close to 90 years. So many people don't live for 20, to live 90 years. He has lived for those many years. And uh, today we are celebrating a life of a man of God. And we know that he's been crowned in heaven. So during his coronation, we pray that uh, we will work together. All of us, church members, all different church people, relatives, to make sure that we give him a good send off. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. And thank you so much all for coming uh, to condole with us today. May God bless you. We have a... Uh... All right, the wife there of Archbishop Silas Owiti, who has passed on in Kisumu at 91 years old uh, from an illness. He was a bishop that formed a church during the struggling times uh, for independence. Our condolences to his family and of course, may he rest in peace.